Today on Parker's Reefs, we visit Williamstown Aquarium, one of Melbourne's largest sores. Okay, stop six in my Melbourne fish shop crawl takes us out west, out to Williamstown Aquarium, which uh, most people that are familiar with the um, hobby in Australia and have uh, visited Melbourne have heard of Williamstown Aquarium because it is a big store. Um, it's It's got a, like a warehouse feel to it. It's got heaps of fish, heaps of coral, heaps of dry goods. So um, let's get into it. All right, so uh, as you walk in, you can see some uh, friendly staff there doing some water tests for customers. You've got your water refill station there. <clears throat> you've got a bunch of uh, dry food, uh, sorry, frozen foods and um, some tanks there ready to go. These guys move a lot of tanks, so they've got tanks there ready to go out the door. You're immediately faced with this um, huge display tank, which has got some incredible pieces in there. Um, none less than this incredible deshi in the um, middle there, which um, for our international viewers can also be called a meat coral. Um, it, just strikingly red and um, and blue. You also see that lovely goni there with the yellow frills on it with a um, nice red base, super bright red cyanaria there. And there's that uh, meat coral or deshi, which is um, just stunning. There's a whole heap of gonies and scollies, um, just a few acro, there's a nice forest fire digi coming up, there's a, another one of those incredible gonies, big blue stag, and of course there's a whole heap of fish in this tank as well, let's not forget the fish, um, but yeah, there's some ricks, uh, there's a beautiful scooter blenny, nice chalice, incredible chalice in fact, huge big red chalice with um, blue splashes through it. All right, enough of looking what's not for sale, let's have a look at what is for sale. And this is, uh, these two tanks at the front of Williamstown, this is where all the sort of the premium bits go. So um, for those uh, sort of uh, well established in the hobby and um, are just coming to pick up the little uh, gems, these are the two tanks you primarily look at. Um, the rest of the tanks, are, I mean, obviously you've got your fish section at the back, you've got a couple of large coral bays uh, for your more sort of general corals. This is where the um, latest, hottest and um, most desired pieces go. Um, so you can see some really cool little uh, Favia frags there. I was really tempted to bring one of them home, but I promised myself I wouldn't buy any coral today. And they've got all sorts of uh, morphs and uh, ricks and SPS in there. There's <laughs> Jake doing some more uh, water testing, uh, giving a good smile for the camera. You see a huge range of dry goods here um, from all the brands. And I must uh, give a tip of the cap to Williamstown for this. This is something that really does set them apart. They have everything in stock um, talking whether it's uh, supplements foods testing equipment uh, electrical equipment even we go as far as like filter socks um, tubing uh, ro membranes um, you name it just we got one of the nice uh, new code cade sorry cade pro reef uh, tanks on display there williamstown have got it all on hand but we'll get back into these other coral bays you can see they've got a um, huge range of soft corals here, some elegance, euphilias. There's um, there's even some sponges in there. Massive goni back there in the back. That's like, that would take up like a two-foot tank. <laughs> and it's uh, hard to see on camera there, but it's actually got a bit of a marble of rainbow colors through it. You can even see down the bottom here, we've got a variety of um, dry rock there, artificial rock. Um, you can get the, the white stuff, the purple stuff, or you can even get the branching rocks. So um, everything you wouldn't possibly need. Some nice uh, zoas there, beautiful, another one of those gonies, just like the one in the uh, display tank. And uh, we'll kick along past some more things here. Another quick look at some of the other dry goods. We've got more things like heaters, filter pads, um, little uh, carbon things, air pumps. Um, yeah, everything one could possibly want. All right, what do we got up here? We've got some, uh, what we call in Australia jawbreakers. I know they're a little bit different from the jawbreakers in America, but uh, some pretty cool morphs in there. There's a bit of an invert tank there at the end. And uh, let's keep going along here. See some more corals. There's a nice little uh, sailfin in there, keeping everyone honest. Got some nice um, cynarias, some trackies. Looks like uh, maybe a frog spawn at the back there. Uh, let's add a lobo, some uh, hammers, uh, maybe a couple of trackies down there. We've got some nice hammers there, some leathers. Uh, it could be a nice chalice back there, I think. Uh, absolutely massive helio fungi <laughs> that guy is like dinner plate size some nice leathers there there's a nice chalice that's got um, quite a few different colors in that one all right let's go back this way let's have a look at what else there is to offer in store i know i say i don't cover a lot of the freshwater stuff but uh it's hard to ignore in this um, store there's, there's plenty on offer so you can see some uh, freshwater plants along there 
some more tanks ready to go, your, your absolute introductory basic level tanks, which is um, always good to see. My favorite freshwater fish, the uh, baiters, all laid out there. And then uh, I'm not gonna try and name what these fish are because I'll get every single one of them wrong, but there's a, a lot of freshwater fish, let's just say that. And uh, yeah, your more common freshwater fish over this side, maybe some, uh, there's some goldfish, I, can, I know those ones. And uh, there's probably some other nice little uh, introductory fish there. So let's um, keep going along so I don't show how uh, ignorant I am to the freshwater stuff too much more. Just a little notice of this, the coral discounts are back. If you buy more than one coral, you get discounts across all of the pieces. So it's a nice little incentive from um, Jack and the team there. All right, let's have a look at some of these fish. Now, one thing I will point out here, um, I did speak to uh, Jake before... Um, Sorry, not Jake. Oh, I did speak to Jake, but I spoke to Jack, uh, the, the owner here at uh, Williamstown. And um, uh, Jack is saying that they're in the process of upgrading these uh, fish display tanks, or sorry, yeah, fish sale tanks. Um, and you can see some of the upgraded ones here. So they've sectioned them off so that they can keep like fish together a lot more. Uh, just going to make uh, maintenance a lot easier. They can feed the right type of food for each fish in those tanks. They can also keep aggression and things down. So... One thing I will point out here is that uh, Williamstown uh, have an importer's license and they have a facility um, just around the corner from uh, their, their shop here. So these guys import their own fish, um, which gives them access to a huge range and diversity of fish. So that's why they've had to go um, and, and divide these tanks because at any one time, I mean, I wouldn't even know where to count. Check out this cool little uh, hawkfish there. He is an absolute beast and little puffer. <laughs> Always like puppy dogs, those puffers, couple of cool clowns. But what I was saying there is because they get such a huge uh, diversity of fish and they have such huge numbers on hand, they're doing what they can to uh, basically separate these tanks more so they can keep uh, like you know particular wrasse together, particular clowns together, particular puffers together, etc. So that they can just um, yeah keep their life um, in maintaining these tanks a lot easier. So enough of the logistics. Let's have a look at the actual fish they've got on hand here. I've uh, slowed this clip down a little bit just because uh, I realized when I was playing back the footage, it was going a bit too fast and I was going to make everyone seasick. So um, you can see we've got a nice fox face there, cool uh, puffer. It looks like a flamingi uh, tang in there. Um, I believe they're domino damsels with some uh, pretty exotic clowns there. I can see a purple tang and maybe some midnight clowns in there as well. Uh, some more of those domino damsels. We got there a nice uh, wrasse and a uh, butterfly. There's a uh, reef safe angel. Here's uh, one of my favorites. This is a, um, a I believe he's a scorpion um, or a frog. Um, either way, he's a dude with full of attitude. Um, just sitting there. He's alongside some other predators. So we can see a nice eel there, a uh, Picasso trigger. Uh, this is big angel with a tiny little uh, platinum clown in there. See some manthias and some uh, different types of clowns. Uh, what's that guy, little yellow guy down there? He might be a, a lemon peel, perhaps. Or maybe yellow assessors. Um, just a tiny little flame hawk in there. Here's some more eels um, of different varieties. You can see they love their PVC pipes. Always hanging out in there. See if this guy's going to give us much uh, for the camera. A couple there sort of showing their mouths at us. All right, what do we got along here? Looks like uh, oh, a squirrel fish, I think. Uh, that big red guy. Uh, in there with a the puffer, there's a uh, purple tang, there's some uh, flamingi puff, uh, not flamingi puffers, sorry, valentini puffers, some clowns, uh, sort of dark clowns, your normal orange and white clowns, some more dark clowns laying low down there in the corner, another valentini puffer, uh, some tangs, there was something up there, but I, you can see in my reflection, I was not looking close enough. There's a uh, one spot fox face in with some clowns. It's obviously a lot of clowns available here, um, popular fish. Uh, check out this guy. He's a, I think he's a long nose hawk, um, something you don't see every day. His um, eyes are wider than his body, which is uh, <laughs> always makes him look a bit funny. And uh, what else we got here? We got some more tangs. You see a lipstick there. And uh, yeah, a lot of fish. Um, like I said, it's one of the things that uh, Williamstown uh, have the advantage. Or, or I guess a bit of a competitive edge over other stores is that they can import their own fish. So they quite often have um, huge numbers on hand and big variety. And um, check out this uh, stunning lionfish. I know they're a bit of a pest in the wild, but uh, they are an absolutely stunning fish. Here's a slightly smaller one, probably a different um, subspecies. Must admit, I don't know enough about my um, lions to uh, speak with any sort of authority on them. Looks like a little uh, pair of triggers there. 
with a ras, a uh, long nose ras. I see a couple of uh, twin spot hogfish in there, a um, whole bay of uh, triggers in there. I do love triggers the way they swim about. They just got such a unique style to them. Picasso there, thrashing about, looking angry. Some more niger triggers, I believe. Uh, we've got a looks like a butterfly there. There's a um, long nose butterfly. And these guys up in that tank there, they look like uh, bits of seaweed, but uh, no, they are fish. We did uh, focus in on, on in on them a little bit earlier, but um, yeah, there's something different, uh, which is cool to see. Another Valentini puffer there. I, I like to go in close on them because uh, they're such little characters of fish. Looks like possibly an orchid dotty back. There's a Sohole talking to another Sohole through the uh, window. I'm sure they wouldn't be that friendly if they're in the tank together. Okay, let's keep going with the fish. Believe it or not, there is yet more to see. So um, I'll slow down a little bit, but not too much because we want to get through these. Uh, you see some nice uh, powder blue there. Another long nose uh, ras. There's a big anth here. I'm not exactly sure which uh, type. Again, ignore my reflection. This has to be one of the biggest um, nasos I've seen for sale um, anywhere. I did see one slightly larger in a display tank somewhere, but um, as in one you could take home today, I don't even know what size bag they would need for that guy. You'd have to go like in a bag that um, sharks had come in. He's an absolute beast. Um, <laughs> just a huge, huge fish. What do we got in here? A whole heap of, uh, I think, well, they're rabbit fish, but uh, I'm not sure they could be gold spots. Um, and a beautiful uh, pink tail trigger there. Just stunning um, white and pink on his tail, which is uh, just a beautiful sign of health. Okay, we've got some rats down here, another one of those hawks. Um, we've got a bunch of clown varieties along the bottom here. Looks like some rats too. No shortage of Valentini puffers at the moment. Okay, we've got some black and white clowns. We've got some, uh, looks like some Picassos. Uh, looks like a pearl, skill, pearl skin angel. A few more varieties of uh, clowns, possibly sectioning them off to getting them to pair up. You can see um, Lawnmower Blenny sitting down there, turning his back to us. Another fish with a lot of character. Uh, what do we got up here? Another lion, another couple of lions. Not looking too pleased about the camera being on them. So hole swimming around in there. A purple tang, looks like a magnificent fox face. A uh, super cool puffer. Maybe a dog face puffer. A uh, pyramid butterfly there. Little school of anthias there, possibly Bartlett's so hole. Another so hole. Is it that trigger? Look at that. Oh, I would love to take him home, but I'm pretty sure he'll munch on my coral, so I uh, best leave him there. See some rats swimming about pretty quick. All right. Let's get back to uh, the world of the non-living. Although, just one last thing. Check out the skimmer running the uh, fish bay here. It's a um, absolute beast. It's been around for a little while, but it's um, still churning out the uh, the work. So, I guess um, I'll just give a bit of a scan over the um, the huge range of dry goods here. You can see all your bacterial supplements. Even down the bottom there, you've got your uh, RO filters and uh, aquarium tubing, coral grabbers, backgrounds if you still wish to use them. You see the Dr. Tim stuff there, API. Huge range of foods, Red Sea test kits and refills, aquaforest stuff. Behind the counter, you've got a huge range of um, pumps, lights, dosing pumps, um, wave pumps, skimmers, uh, you name it. The guys at Williamstown carry a huge range of stock, which um, is really what makes a, um, a uh, aquarium these days, in my opinion. Anyone can go online and order stuff, but uh, being able to go in store and pick something up now, um, is what makes uh, the local fish shop what it is, plus the advice to go with it on what you should actually grab now. So it's really good to see these guys um, getting that right, and um, it's uh, always a pleasure to visit. I love walking through, uh, seeing the range of fish they have, but also just the huge range of dry goods they have on hand. So if you're ever in Melbourne, make sure that uh, Williamstown Aquarium is one of your must-stops. Thanks, guys. Bye.